Assalamualaikum and good day everyone So today we are back into the galvanic cell punya subtopic Okay, so uh, by now sepatutnya kita dah settle dah this learning outcomes Yang dekat slide pertama kat sini untuk learning outcome Or maybe almost, almost habis dah Okay, but uh, in this video we are going to focus only on the learning outcome E Okay, whereby kita nak tengok how to explain the hydrogen oxygen fuel cell Okay, so let's have a look at what is hydrogen oxygen fuel cell then. Okay, so fuel cell kat sini, so as you can see, ada dua diagram kat sini. So, kita akan tengok ada dua jenis of uh, fuel cell then. Okay, so what is a fuel cell? So, a fuel cell is different from a battery. So, as it can be used constantly and does not need to be recharged given that they are provided with fuel. Okay, and then sebenarnya dia lagi long lasting actually compared to battery. But basically, it works similarly to battery. Uh, okay, whereby kita akan produce uh, daripada chemical reaction and then dia akan produce uh, electricity daripada situ. Okay, so hydrogen is normally used in fuel cell but it is very difficult to store as it requires to be pressurized to make it possible to store in a small space. Okay, so kat mana kita selalu pakai fuel cell ni sebenarnya? So, uh, I think the most common one would be like a hybrid car, hybrid fuel cell car. Uh, so, dia akan guna on fuel cell ni. Okay, but then macam dia cakap kat sini, uh, hydrogen to itself is actually very difficult to be stored. Okay, uh, and then but then despite that, hydrogen fuel cell is more great for environment than a battery as their byproduct is only water. Okay, so dia apa? Environment friendly, environmental friendly, ha, macam tu. Okay, sebab dia akan produce water saja. So it doesn't matter. Ada dua jenis kita akan tengok lepas ni. One is in acidic medium, another one is in alkaline medium. Both kita akan nampak dia akan produce water as the byproduct. Okay. So how does a fuel cell works? Alright. So the hydrogen and oxygen gases are separated as they are quite reactive together. So akan ada dua lah kita punya uh, element yang penting kat sini One is hydrogen and another one is oxygen Okay, so they are separated by a special polymer membrane called an electrolyte Okay, so electrolyte tu dah nanti yang kita letak sama ada acid ataupun base Okay, uh, so this will keep the oxygen and hydrogen molecules from passing through one another actually Okay, so kenapa? Kenapa kita nak make sure dia tak akan berjumpa? Because kalau dia orang berjumpa nanti dia boleh explode Okay, so kena ada electrolyte yang pisahkan antara dua substance tersebut. So, but then, apa yang kita akan tengok nanti uh, adalah uh, H plus ion, okay, will be able to pass through within the membrane lah. Okay, ataupun bukan H plus ion je, might be OH minus. So, depends kita letak dalam medium apa. So, the ions are produced when the hydrogen molecules pass through over a platinum metal catalyst. Uh, anode. Okay, basically nanti kamu akan nampak juga ada cathode dengan anode, elektrod kita and uh, both uh, elektrod tu basically coated with a platinum whereby the platinum will act as a catalyst uh, supaya reaction tu berlaku dengan lagi cepat. Okay. So, uh, how does the fuel cell works? Okay. Uh, so, in this particular case, Kita akan tengok untuk acidic hydrogen oxygen fuel cell. Okay, acidic punya. Okay, basically fuel cell is an electrochemical device that combines hydrogen and oxygen to produce electricity electricity with water and heat as the byproduct. Okay, cuma water and heat saja sebagai byproduct. Selain daripada dia akan produce electricity. So, very friendly. Okay. Uh, so, these are the equations yang involved dekat cathode and anode. Okay. And then, this is the overall reaction. Okay. Bila kita dah kasih potong-potong-potong, tambahkan together dua dua equation ni. And then, you get the overall here. Tapi now, kita nak tengok specifically apa yang berlaku sebenarnya dekat dalam kita punya fuel cell. So, this is a diagram of acidic hydrogen uh, oxygen fuel cell. As you can see, dekat bahagian electricity electrolyte tengah-tengah ni, ni ada electrolyte and then kita ada kita punya cathode dengan anode sini, okay and then kita ada bahagian yang ada hydrogen gas on the left side and then kita ada bahagian oxygen gas on the right side, okay so kamu akan nampak ada empat valve class empat valve, okay, ada dua valve untuk laluan masuk, ada dua valve untuk laluan keluar okay, so ini untuk yang acidic 
uh, hydrogen oxygen fuel cell okay so what exactly happened dekat bahagian anode what exactly happened dekat bahagian cathode then okay so let's have a look kita tengok dahulu apa yang berlaku dekat bahagian anode so this side here bila dia masuk yang fuel in ni kan fuel in ni sebenarnya adalah hydrogen sebenarnya okay hydrogen masuk dekat this part here so apa yang berlaku bila dekat anode bermaksud hydrogen akan release electron okay so the electrolyte used in acidic fuel cell is uh, usually uh, hcl okay whereby hcl to can uh, produce h plus okay so the oxidation reaction that takes place at anode is kita punya hydrogen gas dia release electron and then kalau kita balance kan equation this is the equation yang kita akan dapat lah okay so the electron release uh, will flow through the anode electrode into the electric circuit uh, so dia lalu ke atas ni so electron akan flow dia akan pergi to the other side of the fuel cell then okay so bila dia lalu kat sini nanti dia akan produce electricity lah okay whereby the power can uh, dia boleh apa ni the electricity can power a motor car or even light bulb uh, even bus pun boleh juga dia mampu juga sebenarnya kalau fuel cell ni okay and then kita tengok pula what happened dekat bahagian cathode dan okay so since electron tadi dia mengalir lalu dekat electric current ni electric circuit ni electric circuit ni electron lalu kat sini so bila electron dah sampai dekat cathode now dia akan react with oxygen dan so this side here class dekat bahagian atas ni valve masuk untuk kita punya air ni that is basically oxygen akan masuk dekat situ laluan oxygen masuk sebenarnya okay so the electron then will flow through and into the oxygen side and combine with the proton so proton ni dekat bahagian kita punya electrolyte ni kita okay, combine with the proton and also the oxygen molecule to produce water then okay so the cathode is a platinum metal catalyst uh, so sama macam anode tadi anode pun metal platinum uh, is a platinum metal catalyst uh, kita punya uh, Ketot pun sama juga. Okay. So, the reaction occurs uh, at the uh, ketot here adalah reduction. So, this is the equation here. Okay. Whereby, uh, oxygen, dia akan absorb the electron yang mengalir ke arah dia tadi. Okay. At the same time, dia akan react with the H+. plus. Kita akan dapat produce water. Okay. Make sure the equation is balanced. Okay. So, this process will produce an electrical energy. And then kita akan produce juga heat energy and water as the byproduct. Okay. So apa pula tujuan yang dua lagi valve yang dekat bawah ni? Okay. So dua lagi valve dekat bawah ni adalah laluan keluar untuk any excess uh, substance. Sama ada daripada hydrogen itself ataupun daripada uh, oxygen. And then even the water pun sebenarnya akan keluar daripada sini juga sebenarnya. Okay. Sini water akan keluar. So heat mana-mana lah. Heat akan keluar je. Ha, dekat mana-mana laluan tu nanti okay. So ini kalau kita guna acidic hydrogen oxygen fuel cell So what about the other um, apa? Satu lagi jenis okay. So yang ni pula kita nak tengok alkaline hydrogen oxygen fuel cell uh, Masih lagi konsep fuel cell dia sama Whereby hydrogen and oxygen together Dia akan produce electricity And still kita akan produce the byproduct adalah The heat uh, and also the water Okay, tapi apa yang berbeza adalah uh, in terms of kita punya equation ni. Okay, so equation tadi adalah based on acidic medium kan. Tapi yang ni pula adalah based on um, alkaline medium ataupun basic medium. Okay, so slightly different in terms of dia punya uh, diagram ni class. So kalau acidic tadi ada 4 valve in total right. Uh, tapi yang ni ada 3 valve sahaja. 2 valve untuk masukkan something whereby nak masukkan hydrogen, nak masukkan oxygen and then kita akan ada satu je valve untuk laluan keluar the excess product uh, ataupun the byproduct and so on okay so dekat this part here okay tapi uh, dia punya structure masih lebih kurang sama je kelas kita ada bahagian hydrogen on the left side kita ada anode kita ada anode kita kat sini and then dipisahkan dengan electrolyte okay and then kita ada cathode kita dekat sini okay and then ini adalah laluan untuk oxygen okay Cuma bagian elektrolit kita sekarang ni OH- lah. So, apa yang dia akan guna? Uh, selalunya kita akan guna sama ada uh, KOH ataupun NaOH dekat bahagian elektrolit tu. Okay. So, oxidation reaction that takes place at anode. So, basically masih lagi benda yang sama kelas. Hydrogen gas dekat anode akan oxidize by releasing 
electrons kan okay so dia akan release electron so this is the equation then okay so you might be macam macam mana nak balance kan equation ni basically class kamu try ingat balik macam mana kita nak balance kan uh, redox equation dalam basic medium so kamu usahanya boleh guna pakai balik yang dalam bentuk acidic tadi okay and then remember how kita just perlu like tambah OH- minus dekat both side kan tambah OH- minus dekat both side Uh, according to the number of uh, H plus yang ada So kalau ada 4 H plus Bermaksud kita tambah 4 OH minus dekat both side Tapi H plus berjumpa dengan OH minus Akan jadi apa? Akan jadi water semua tu uh, So kamu try sendiri nanti So you should be able to get this equation here sebenarnya uh, Okay So the hydrogen enters the anode And then they release electron So apa lagi electron tu buat? Dia akan flow through the circuit Okay Dia akan pergi dekat side Cathode pula Okay Uh, so this side here then okay, Kita tengok dekat bahagian sebelah kanan ni pula So sebelah kanan okay, So dah electron flow tu tadi okay, Electron flow pergi kepada cathode kita kat sini okay, Whereby dekat bahagian cathode ni Kita ada oxygen juga that side So now oxygen tu akan Absorb the electron dan Dia akan gain the electron okay. So apa yang berlaku adalah Bila dia accept electron tu nanti Dia akan release pula hydrogen, hydroxide ion okay. So the reaction The reduction reaction That takes place at the cathode Is basically macam ni Untuk dia okay, Ni equation dia So kita ada O2 uh, Dia accept electron kat sini kan okay. And then dia akan release OH- Okay, and then you just try to uh, balance kan the equation then. Okay, so kalau kamu tak ingat this equation pun tak apa. Kalau kamu nak ingat yang benda yang berlaku dekat acidic saja pun okay je. And then daripada acidic punya equation tu tadi, macam Miss cakap tadi, try balance kan dalam bentuk basic medium by adding OH- into the equation. Then you should be able to get this equation here. Okay. So last sekali uh, sebab uh, yang ni kita nak cerita yang dekat bahagian yang bahagian laluan keluar ni okay so yang ni ada tiga cerita dia lah sebenarnya okay so since kita dah produce apa ni tadi elektron akan react with oxygen and then dia akan release uh, OH- kan dia produce OH- jadi OH- ni pula dia boleh tembus Dekat bahagian anode ni okay. So bila dia tembus bahagian anode ni So this side here tadi kan Dia penuh dengan uh, hydrogen gas sebenarnya So H- bila dia berjumpa dengan uh, H Uh, H plus pula okay. So Kasi kasi ya Hydroxide ion Travel to the anode And passes through the electrolyte To the anode Where they react with the Sorry They react with hydrogen atom Okay So bila they react with hydrogen atom Oxidation akan Berlaku kat situ Okay So sebenarnya Proses tu dah start Berulang balik sebenarnya uh, Okay So the cycle will repeat Will repeat itself So ini sebenarnya adalah Basically equation yang dekat bahagian Oxidation sebenarnya Kalau kamu tengok balik The first part yang Apa yang berlaku bila hydrogen masuk tadi This is actually the same equation Sebenarnya Okay, okay. So mesti ulang balik ah. Specific Apa yang berlaku dalam kita punya uh, Alkaline hydrogen oxygen field ni Basically hydrogen masuk Dia release electron Okay, memasuk release electron berlaku oxidation kat situ Okay, bila dia release electron, electron ni lalu dekat the uh, circuit Dia akan pergi dekat bahagian cathode Okay, so now bila dekat cathode, dia react with oxygen gas pula Okay, bila dia react with oxygen gas, so somehow OH- akan kena release Bila dia react with the oxygen gas So bila dia release uh, hydroxide uh, ion So hydroxide ion pula dia boleh tembus dekat sini Dia react with the hydrogen gas And then dia akan berlaku oxidation dekat situ and then kita boleh nampak yang water is released dekat sini okay so water is released dekat bahagian ni so water yang uh, terhasil tu akan uh, dibuang lah okay so dia dianggap sebagai byproduct okay so uh, apa yang paling penting sebenarnya yang kamu nak kena make sure kamu tahu adalah uh, apa half cell equation dekat anode ataupun cathode untuk the acidic medium okay sorry the acidic fuel cell and apa juga dia punya uh, half cell equation kalau dekat bahagian alkaline fuel cell untuk both kita punya cathode dengan anode lah okay and then I think the overall part should be okay kamu tambahkan together je Okay, so last one, last one class. Okay, kita just nak tengok the pros and the cons of the fuel cell. Okay, so the pros is fuel cell only requires hydrogen and oxygen je. Dua bahan tu je yang kita perlukan. Okay, so they do not produce any pollutant because kita cuma produce 
water dengan heat saja sebagai the uh, byproduct right meaning uh, there's a zero carbon emission compared to kalau macam kita guna petrol macam tu kan so kalau petrol dia punya byproduct ada carbon okay so yang akan produce soot semua tu kan so benda tu dia akan pollute kita punya environment uh, okay uh, so this is the pros of using a fuel cell a hydrogen oxygen fuel cells maya. sebab dia tak akan produce any carbon uh, emission okay zero carbon emission and then they can last longer than battery okay jangka hayat dia lagi lama and then it is more efficient than a con conventional combustion engine yang guna petrol or whatever okay but then there are the cons there juga okay the cons is because hydrogen gas is difficult to be stored okay uh, and transported compared to a liquid petrol uh, sebab hydrogen gas tu dia kena apa kita kena storekan dia in a I suppose in a very like uh, adalah certain condition dia yang akan buat dia akan jadi dalam bentuk fuel tu nanti okay and then hydrogen is also very explosive especially kalau dia berjumpa dengan uh, air uh, kalau dia berjumpa dengan oksigen sebenarnya dia akan jadi very explosive okay so to make hydrogen fuel requires energy to make okay so untuk buat untuk hasilkan to produce a hydrogen fuel uh, it requires energy and that often comes from natural gas or fossil fuels which is a finite resource. Uh, so nak buat hydrogen fuel cell ni pun still akan memerlukan uh, juga penggunaan uh, daripada natural gas ataupun fossil fuel and then the natural gas and fossil fuel sendiri pula adalah limited sebenarnya kan at some point later on benda tu akan habis juga. Uh, so kalau benda tu akan habis juga nanti tak boleh juga pun nak produce the a hydrogen fuel cell okay so these are the pro and cons of a fuel cell so miss harap kamu boleh uh, bezakan uh, macam mana structure acidic uh, fuel cell and also alkaline fuel cell and i hope by now you should be able to write down the half cell equation yang berlaku dekat and not and cathode for both fuel cell okay itu yang paling penting untuk this particular topic uh, untuk this particular learning outcome sebenarnya all right that's all thank you